This seems to be a fight that has really fallen under the radar. I think because Kell Brook has lost twice before and he lost bad. He lost in a way that some people said he quit both times. And on top of that, they were losses against Golovkin and Errol Spence where he suffered broken eye sockets as well in each fight. Uh, very unlucky. He's 34. He said he was better at 154. Now he's come down to 147 again. There's many reasons to believe that this guy is no longer at his best. But this is certainly a fight you need to pay attention to. Yes, Crawford is the rightful favourite. He is pound for pound. Not pound for pound best for me right now, but he is quality. He can box, counter, he can slug it out with you. He's got spite, he'll take you out of the opportunities there. He can switch hit. And with all of those abilities, the longer this fight goes against a kind of stale Kell Brook, you've really got to favour Terence Crawford. But Kell Brook, former IBF champ at 147, I think the first real emerging talent at 147 in this modern era of the likes of Thurman and Spence and Crawford, he's got nothing to lose now. He's no longer with Eddie Hearn. He's a bit of a lone ranger in this fight. And he is going to give it everything to not just make sure he did better than Amir Khan, but that he is going to really try to win. Some of it doesn't make sense. He said he was better at 154. Now he's going back down to 147. But I think he will have taken the weight off intelligently. He's going to show up as strong and as focused as he possibly can at this point in his career. And in Crawford's last fight against that Kavalauskas, he didn't look that great. He had to win by kind of just machoing it and outslugging the guy. But he was caught with shots. Kavalauskas was cagey, got him to open up, pinged him a few times with the right hand. And pinging him with the right hand is exactly what Kelbrook needs to try and do. I think Crawford fights most of the time from Southpaw. Correct me if I'm wrong, he, he switches a lot. He at least fought against Kavalauskas for the most part as a Southpaw. And that is the stance that it will make it easier for Brook to land his chocolate brownie. Errol Spence kind of took the mick out of it in the lead up to their fight, but it is a potent shot. Brook does have quite a few flaws as a fighter. He is a bit hittable and stiff. I think the longer the fight goes, it's trouble for him. But he's physically big and strong and he cracks with that shot. He does have very good accuracy. And if he manages to get Crawford in one of those perfect positions, because sometimes Crawford, as good as he is, he does so much well, he does wing with his shots a bit when he gets a bit excited. You know, hyper extension on the elbow when he's going for the hooks. Brook could get there first with one of his crosses. The real problem, though, I feel, is that he would have to spark him out or land many of them because he, I think a good performance for Brook is he hurts Crawford. He even manages to floor him, but the fight is far from over there. Because Crawford has so many layers to his game, if he does get hurt against Brook, he is probably going to get up and just switch it up. His stance is so well balanced. He puts a lot of weight and switches it on the back foot, ready to counter. You can see he's always thinking, should I go forward, should I go back? He, he has a great feel. He has great instincts for the ring, like Teddy Atlas has noticed. So he's probably going to be able to adapt even if he does suffer a crisis. Many people think he's not even going to have a crisis. He's going to move to begin with. He's going to be cautious. He's going to give Brooke a look. He's going to switch stances. He's going to get him to commit, and he might walk him on to a counter. And at this stage, you really don't know what Brooks' punch resistance is like right now. I just hope he can focus his energies and give him as good a fight as is possible with his pretty worn 34-year-old body. It does deserve more attention than it's getting. You never know. If Brooks somehow won, it would just completely jumble up welterweight. But I do expect Terence Bud Crawford to read The Englishman to find his head, which is a bit open at times with hooks as he comes in. He's not as cagey as Kavalauskas. And get him out of there rounds eight to nine.